Hey, what's up everyone? This is Craig here from Sound Iron, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a tips and tricks on talking about layering guitars. Now, quad tracking is a technique that people have been using for many years, and it's a great way to get that huge wall of sound when it comes to guitars. And usually what people do is they'll have, you know, two guitars on the left, two guitars on the right. Sometimes with the second set of recorded guitars, you can maybe play around with the panning so you can really get that huge, thick sound. So, I wrote a little demo. This is kind of like a death metal, grindcore-y kind of style thing. And I'm using two real guitars, and then for the quad-tracked guitars, I'm gonna be using our new Axe Machina that we just released. And this approach is really useful because especially recording four guitars can be a little bit difficult, but it's really good to have another set of guitars. So if, let's say, you have your own guitar that you recorded, you recorded one left, one right, you can use something like Axe Machina to layer it up because it's a different guitar, it's got a different attack and sound, so it's almost like having another player record on top of your stuff too. So it can really be a good way to just, you know, easily program stuff in. You know, once you get your left and right done, then you can just program this however you want and it'll be a nice blend because it'll almost sound like two different players at the same time. So let's go ahead and check out the track and then I'll show you guys how I went about it. All right, so that was the track. Now let's go ahead and talk about how I went about uh, layering these guitars. So I recorded my guitar DI through my Countryman Type 85, and then I also recorded through my Kemper as well with a 5150 type profile. So let's just go ahead and listen to the Kemper by itself. <laughs> So really nice, you know, thick sounding 5150 tone. All right, so now let's go ahead and have a listen to the Axe Machina tracks. And with this, I'm using a different tone as well. I'm using the Neural DSP Gojira, and it sounds like this. <laughs> So you can hear it sounds really tight and really aggressive because with this I wanted to have the velocities a little bit higher. On some of the really fast tremolo picking stuff I dialed them back a little bit because they have a little bit more of a warmer kind of fuller sound. So this is to really add that cut and aggression, that pick attack. So with the real guitars that I recorded I used the same pick as well. I used this uh, Daba Master Control pick. I really like how it sounds especially for metal. and. Now let's go ahead and listen to both of them together. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and mute the Axe Machina track and then go back and forth so you can hear the difference. <laughs> So with the real guitars, I didn't do any editing at all. I wanted it to have like a really natural feel. I mean, there's some little mistakes in there and that's fine because for this kind of track, I wanted to have that sort of like natural, a little bit raw, a little bit more of like a nasty kind of sound. And then with Ex Machina, it's all basically to the grid. I didn't do any sort of randomization of any of the MIDI. So what's cool about that is that you have one that's really tight and locked in 
and then you have another one that's a little bit loose. So there's going to be a little bit of that difference between the two. So they're not going to be all super like quantized and locked in, which uh, I'm not too much of a fan of. So with Axe Machina layered underneath, you can hear it's really adding this pick attack, you know, because when you listen to it by itself, let's go back to this part over here. <laughs> You can hear that, -a 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 that kind of sound. It's very articulate and there's a lot of pick attack in there. So when you layer that with the real guitars, So overall, it really just helps kind of fill out the sound and make them sound really huge. And I really like the sound of big guitars, you know, being a guitar player, you know, I like to, I like the guitars to sound huge. And doing this, it's a really easy way of just being able to quad track without really having to fully quad track yourself, you know, and because it's going to be locked in, in tune, it's going to be exactly the way that you program it, you know, so if you want it to be a little bit looser, you can program it and have it like that as well. But I really like this and I'm going to be using this as a production tool just as a way of being able to get that really thick sound, especially on parts where it might be a little bit difficult to quad track. You can use this as just of a way to really get a thick sound without having to go in and spend a lot of time, you know, doing quad tracking and stuff like that. All right, so before we wrap up this video, I'm going to go ahead and play for you these examples again with Axe Machina bypassed and turned on with the full mix with drums and bass. I also programmed the bass as well if you want to hear how that sounds by itself. And I'm just using Grove Bass from Submission Audio. And let's go ahead and listen to how all of this sounds and then I'm going to bypass and turn on Axe Machina in the mix. All right, so that wraps up this video. If you want to learn more about Axe Machina, make sure to go to soundiron.com and learn more and check out some demos to hear it in action. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you like these types of videos, make sure to subscribe for more and to stay up to date on all the other videos that we post. So until next time, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.